This explanation of memory seal begins with ordinary rubber. At a molecular level, ordinary rubber consists of polymer chains joined together by crosslinks to form a vast molecular network. The polymer chains are springy and mobile, and they give the rubber its pliable, elastic character. The crosslinks tie those polymer chains together into one enormous structure and give the rubber its permanent shape. With that combination of mobile chains and interconnecting crosslinks, the rubber's molecular network deforms when you push or pull on it, but quickly springs back to its permanent shape when you let go. Since an ordinary rubber's network structure determines the rubber's preferred shape, it's a network solid. Memory sill has a similar molecular network, but while the crosslinks in ordinary rubber are all permanent, many of the crosslinks in memory sill are temporary. Instead of interconnecting the same polymer chains forever, temporary crosslinks regularly swap polymer chains, letting one go and latching on to another. Those temporary crosslinks let polymer chains shift about, moving from temporary crosslink to temporary crosslink endlessly. That continuous rebuilding of its network allows memory sill to learn new shapes. Memory sill has enough permanent crosslinks to give its network a permanent shape, but its temporary crosslinks also allow its network to adapt to new shapes temporarily. Memory sill's network effectively has two parts a permanent part and a temporary part. And when you deform memory sill, those two parts behave quite differently. The structure of memory sill's permanent network determines its preferred shape, so that permanent network acts as a network solid. Memory sill's current shape determines the structure of its temporary network, so that temporary network acts as a network liquid. Memory sill is a network liquid piggybacking on a network solid, and that dual network arrangement gives it some remarkable properties. Most importantly, it has shape memory. If you squeeze memory sill into a new shape and let its network liquid adapt, the memory sill will keep that new shape temporarily when you release it even though its network solid tries to return it to its permanent shape, its network liquid holds back, having grown accustomed to the new shape. It takes memory cell some time to learn a new shape, and it takes memory cell some time to forget that new shape.